I thought this was supposed to be about stop. Where? All right, all right, all right. Yo, what's up, people? Midday report for you. Hope you all had a great weekend, a holiday weekend, a holiday, short holiday. Last Monday, it seems like these days are just bleeding into each other. Woo! Last Monday, if you didn't own a biotech stock, you sucked. And then we had some tech moves, and then we had a day off, and then we had Thursday was fantastic, and then Friday was basically a bleed to death. If you weren't right immediately, it was just a bad day. Whatever, moving on. Because then today we have what we're having. We have selling, finally, because the market's not going anywhere. If you thought the market was about to just blow up and start going through the roof, come on now, it's July, we're not going to do that. We already had a better June than anybody thought we would have. Now we have earnings season. Oh, hold on. It's going to be scary. Remember, they lowered the GDP. The corporate earnings are supposed to be down. Europe's still out there. Remember Europe? Remember that? All that stuff that's going on over there? The housing catastrophe and the euro and all that other stuff? It's still out there. But um, we lucked out. We long. We went long sync at the close yes, last week at 1550. And lo and behold, this thing's opening up at 1650. You know me. A buck on a gap up. I'm taking it. I'm out at 1650. Next thing you know, I'm trying to buy it back at 17. Don't get printed. Blah blah blah. But speaking of sync, S Y N C, we concluded our game. Your entries had to be in by last Friday. If you can give me the closing price of sync on July 10th, without going over, you're gonna win a 1987 top set. Right now, the guy that's in the lead is Greg A. The guy that brought us sync in the first place said that sync should be around 17 bucks come July 10th. So I got to take a look at his exact entry. I'm going to go through the entries right now. So if you were anywhere between 15 and 17, you're in the running. Most guys were out there saying nine. But again, if the closest guy is over, even by a penny, he's disqualified. So it's the closest price without going over. So today we had a few good trades. Not much going on. I wasn't trading anything. I just wanted to just be happy about the sink trade. I wasn't expecting too much on the on the upside today so at least i was looking for shorts looking for the gmcr to come back down looking for your soda to give back some looking for your wlt to collapse and more importantly looking for some of these biotech stocks to continue its run and we had one b m r n b m r n looks like the stock's going to 50 bucks now there's a debate whether or not a guy that's showing a huge amount of size on the level two is a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> This guy's showing 70,000 shares to sell on the offer. So you can look at it two ways. This guy's putting up a brick wall. The stock's not going to get through it. Maybe you should short it. The way I looked at it is if this guy starts getting eaten into, that's gross also. If he starts getting eaten into, he had 70,000 shares. Next thing now it's down to 62, then 58, then 46. And then when it starts getting hit, bang, the offer left, the stock goes up a point. All you need is three good trades a day. Less is more three good trades a day and we had our three good trades the gmcr was decent the bmrn but again these videos what they're doing for you right now is doing nothing for you because they're already happened what's going to happen tomorrow you're going to have to come to the website and that brings me to some viewer mail we haven't talked about viewer mail in a long time kids by the way the vivas looking like it wants to go lower too live on the air we love the viewer mail Okay, so I get a, a comment on one of my videos. Once a fuck, always a fuck. You might have cleaned up your act, but you're still full of shit. Fucking Netflix and SodaStream? Have you ever heard of a screener? Now, I don't even know what this means. I understand him calling me a fuck. And I don't understand what cleaning up my act meant. Was I clean shaven in the video? Or I, maybe I didn't curse as much in the video? Or... Or uh, the background looked better. I don't know what that means. Fucking Netflix and SodaStream. I don't know what you mean by that. Did I mention the stocks? You don't like that I mentioned the stocks? Or was I saying that I actually made money in the Netflix and the SodaStream? And that I shouldn't be proud of making money? You do realize 90% of the videos that I make are me complaining about how stupid I am. And how awful everything is. And how I suck. So I wanted to know. What was this guy's story? So I asked him, I know I shouldn't respond to anonymous haters, but I have to ask you something. Why? Why am I a fuck? What do I deserve? What, what did I do to deserve such hate? Did I do something personal to you? 
Do you know me? Is it that you don't trust what I'm saying? Do you think I'm lying to people? And I go on to talk about my failures and how, do you not believe me that I was long Netflix at 70 and a half and I sold it at 75 and bought the soda stream at 37 and sold it at 40? Do you not believe that? So then he replies, I'm actually so sorry. I'm not the type to pick on people. But I figured a numbskull, love that word actually, numbskull, Man, yeah, she's from the 50s. Bring it back. Let's bring back numbskull. I thought a numbskull like you would have a thicker skin or even become belligerent instead. But I just broke down on YouTube. You have to put the anger from 2009 aside and now you're left with no vigor at all. Tell my wife about some vigor. I had some sick-ass vigor last night. Like vigor to the point where I'm like treating her like a bowling ball, and I'm picking her up. I've got the lamp in her ass. She's screaming. I'm going fucking nuts. The kids weren't home. All hell was breaking loose. Fucking vigor. I'll show you some fucking vigor. Don't ever say I've lost my vigor, man. I'll come through the screen. I'll bite your fucking face off. How's that for vigor? It shocks me, though, that after all this time, you haven't learned a thing about price action. No! No, not only do I not talk about fundamentals or technical analysis or Europe or the contagion or the euro and all that other shit, all I talk about is price action, you dumb fuck. If you want to trade like me, my portfolio gained 8% today in a bad market, you have to start thinking about the things that DR, I don't know what the hell that, he, he trailed off there at the end. His portfolio is up in 8% in a bad market. You know what's easy to do to make 8% in a bad market? When you probably got $4 involved. You made two cents on your four bucks. Good for you! How's that for vigor? So, let me talk about thick skin for a second, all right? Thick skin. I don't know if you, got an, if you know about the emails that I've gotten oh, in the past. Good for you! I don't know if you know that I've been doing this for five or six years. And, and five years prior to me making myself out there on the internet, I was doing it all there, all, all to, for clients and, and oh, for other people. For you. I don't know if you know that. So I used to get, I've got thick, thick skin. I got emails such as one of my faves is a picture of me. He took a, he took a picture, a still of my face and wrote, my dick here. And he drew a picture. Then, of course... Stereo Mike's favorite and one of the top ten of all time. I'd rather listen to the shit coming out of my ass than what's coming out of your mouth. Thick skin. How about the you're a loser, kill yourself. Got at least 50 of those. You suck. You're probably not even married. Those kids are probably not yours. You probably live downstairs with your mom sucking her dick. Classic one. Classic. Then you're ugly. You're not funny. Give up. Kill yourself. If I ever saw you on the street, I'd stab you in the face. Maybe you'd be better looking then. Thick skin? Nothing you could say to me could penetrate this skin. I'm bulletproof, you dumb fuck. You understand? You understand where I'm coming from now? You know, maybe you shouldn't be getting this belligerent on the videos, considering you want people to trust you with their money. Oh, good for you. You know, some people tell me that. Maybe you should clean up your act. Maybe you should take it more serious and then people will take you serious in your trading. Maybe you should just go out there, why don't you do some charting? Why don't you put a chart up on the screen and talk over the chart and oh, go through the trade? For you. I don't do any of that. You know what I know? You know what I know? I know what happened today. I'm three for three. Thursday we went 16 out of 17. Sure, we lost money on Friday, but you know what? As we grind out a living, I know what's going on. And the only people that have to know are the people that are listening to me right now. So unless you're in the room, you've got no clue, buddy. You've got no clue, and you'll never have a clue. Maybe you shouldn't be this belligerent. You never know. You never know who's watching. Shut the oh, fuck up. Good for you. All right? How's that for vigor? Vigor. Look, <laughs> 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 like I'm fucking doing I'm doing flips for you. How's that for vigor? 